Welcome back to DBL. Last night, actor, director, and author Lou Diamond Phillips was unmasked as the mantis on The Masked Singer, and today he joins <laughs> DBL to tell us all about it. Please welcome to the show Lou Diamond yeah. Phillips. Oh, so excited that you are here. Lou, let's get right to it. Now, you said you did the show because your daughter is a huge fan. So from one girl dad to another, what was her response when she found out that you were the mantis? Well, I, you know, I had to ask her permission to do the show in the first place. So she was in on the joke. You know, it was a little secret that we had between the two of us. Uh, I'm living in New York right now, and I had to go to L.A. to, to tape the show. Um, try not to lie to her so it's like well where are you going it's like mm. <laughs> so yeah i kind of i kind of had to let her in on it there you go i love it all right so judge robin thick gave you props for your dance moves and your daughter even showed you dancing with her last year on tiktok lou diamond phillips is dancing something you love to do in your free time uh you what know i had some moves back in the day okay you know? <laughs> uh, yes. uh, and uh, but i always you know I'm, I'm always quick to say i'm an actor who sings and dances a little bit, uh, but but in that costume, I got to tell you, your your movement is very limited, uh, and, and the, the head is like two feet taller than me. Wow. So you got to be aware of your center of gravity. You know, you, you're not going to be doing a whole lot of you know moonwalking or you know back swimming. Right, you're mantising. Well, speaking of those costumes, because we can't tell what's going on, like in terms of how heavy they are. And I want to know if you had any, dif any difficulties, because we understand that you were dragged by a horse while filming Young Guns 2 yep. and had screws put in your arms. So did Lord. that injury slow you down at all in that huge Manus costume? No, no, fortunately, no. I'm fully recovered from that. And, uh, you know, I, I've been banged up over the years. Unlike, you know, Tom Cruise, I, I'm learning not to do my own stunts. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the funny thing that happened on the first episode where I sang uh, uh, Old Time Rock and Roll, I was wearing a balaclava to keep my hair back off my face. And as I spun around, it came down over my <laughs> eyes. I couldn't see anything. And so thank goodness that they had lit the stage, you know, uh, 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 like a runway. So uh, I couldn't see. All I could see were the lights. And I stuck with the choreography and prayed that I didn't run into a dancer. Because uh, you know, two lines into it, I thought, this show's live. There's an audience. I can't stop and I can't fix this. So the show must go on. Good on you, because wow. I have my do-rag falls into my eyes in the morning when I wake up. And I'm like, is it still dark? So I can understand. I can understand. Same, same. same. <laughs> You're doing right. So LDP, I got to know. I'm a big fan of Young Guns. There's a rumor floating around. I don't know if Emilio started it, but oh, there might wow. be a Young Guns 3. Stop it. So what can you tell Woo. us about that? I can tell you a little. Uh, oh. in, in, yeah, in the respect that, yes, uh, there are hopes. <gasps> uh, there is a script that I've read which is uh, actually quite good, that Emilio wrote and that John Fusco, the original writer and original producer, uh, uh, it, it was going to do a polish on. Right now, I think they're off in the landmine-filled, you know, terrain of, of uh, rights. Morgan Creek, Fox, I don't know who else had the rights to it. Uh, we were moving ahead a year ago. It's kind of stalled. We'll see. We'll see if we can continue with some. The people point. want Chavez it. lives. Yeah. Yes. 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 Do it. Uh, I have to take like a big you cleansing never saw breath. The body. You never, you saw, never the saw the body. body. No, I know. That's why we need the third one. Okay, I need to take a cleansing breath because I'm a huge fan of yours, Lou. In fact, I think I've seen the Bomba. I'm not lying here. At least a thousand times. At wow. least I can quote every word. So fan slash stalker. Yeah, yeah. Little stalker. A little crazy. Well, Look at his face. <laughs> Well, Richie Valens' family did grow up near me, or they ended up moving to Santa Cruz in Watsonville. Bob actually passed away in Watsonville recently. Um, I have to ask you this. It's something I always wondered, because I, I knew that they were on set while you were filming La Bamba. Given the traumatic, emotional, uh, historic moments that took place in that movie, what was it like having them there? Uh, it, well, it reminded you every single day that you're playing real people and, and that you're reflecting their real lives. Uh, and and, and that's, a, that's a big responsibility. Um, there were tears every single day. Oh. Every single day there were tears. Uh, I remember Irma saying at one point, you know, uh, they, that's our lives. We're watching our lives mm -hmm. every single day. Uh, and I, I think the most poignant uh, experience was 
the night we filmed uh, Richie getting on the plane. Oh gosh! Uh, and, and yeah, the, uh, Luis uh, Valdez, the director, and Taylor Hackford, uh, the producer, had asked the family not to come. Yeah. Well, Connie did come, and uh, you know, the, the long story short, she literally said, "Can I say something to you, Lou?" And I thought maybe I've done something wrong, um, and I said, "Of course, Connie." And then it's the first time she called me Lou in the entire production. She, she, the whole family called me Richie. Wow. And and she just collapsed into my arms, saying, "Why did you go? Why did you have oh, to go?" Oh my gosh! It was, yeah, it wow. was this moment of catharsis for her uh, that she'd been waiting, you know, 30 years to release. Goosebumps! Wow. Thank you for sharing that with us. And uh, congratulations on the Mass Singer, and hopefully yes. Young Guns Three. <laughs> DBL Nation, catch the Mass Singer Wednesday nights on Fox. Lou, thank you for joining us. Thanks. We adore you. We'll be right yeah, back. Thank, thank you, Lou.